Welcome to the new Intermute for the Long Dark. This is the sick edition. That's right. I'm sick. I'm a sick, sick man. Apparently I've had some kind of stomach virus thing going on for the past month or so. Kind of on and off, but on mostly. And uh, I just don't know what else to do at this point. So my last resort is to comment on this game, nursing my sickness with a bottle of mezcal and some nice sparkling natural mineral, mineral water chaser for my mezcal. Now this mezcal is 48% alcohol so it's a little bit stronger than your run-of-the-mill bottle of hard liquor you know your rum your vodka whatever and uh, I've already had like about I don't know four shots I'm kind of nursing my fifth one here a little bit and um, I can already feel a little bit of a buzz coming down now of course I did this on a full stomach I just had dinner early I had a big dinner Okay, I had a big uh, burrito bowl, salad bowl from uh, Chipotle and a chicken quesadilla with, uh, I think I cleared in this game. It takes, it takes extra long to open. I can't believe they haven't fixed that yet. So, new Winter Mute, Long Dark, The Sick Edition, Part 3, Nursing My Stomach Virus. Either I'm going to kill it with this alcohol or I'm just gonna get it really happy for a while. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Oh, there's a wolf here. Yeah, let's get in here, fuck. Oh, I can't get in here, fuck, fuck, fuck. Wait, that's not gonna do anything, it's not what I wanted, hold on. Where's the fucking fire? Oh, there it is. He ran away screaming for some reason. I wonder why. I didn't scare him off. I certainly did not scare him off. I don't know what that was. Maybe some of them are skittish now and they're not all aggressive. I don't know. Alright, well anyway, let's start searching Middleton. I haven't... I got through all the dialogue in part two with the old woman, with the gray lady, whatever she's called. And, uh... Now I'm ready to start scavenging. Um, I don't have a lantern yet, and I don't want to use this... the flare for light, because I'm gonna want that to, uh... What have we here? Potentially stave off a wolf that might be in my way. Oh, no, 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 no. Break down. I don't want to break that down. I wanted that book. There we go. That's what we want to do. I don't have... Oh, I do have an axe, though, but I don't need that wood right now. I am definitely pretty safe, for the most part, right now, in this town. Unless they change something drastically from the <clears throat> from the previous versions I played, or version I played. I don't know how many different versions I played. This is, like, my fourth playthrough in the story mode. Um... Never beat it, but I did get to the point where I shot at the bear a few times. And then he ended up just, like, ripping my clothing to shit. And, uh... He kept... He kept... He camped outside my fucking, uh... He camped outside my hut, even though I slept a full eight hours. I slept... Get this, I slept a full eight hours. It was the next day, and as soon as I step out of the hut, it was, like, one of those little tiny dwellings in, um... The Mystery Lake map, I think it was. Yeah, Mystery Lake. He was freaking there the next day. Right there. Like, right there. And, um, you know, at that point, I was like, you know what? I don't know how realistic that is, man. This bear's gonna really wait eight hours in the same spot for me right there. Um, that can't be right. It just felt, like, severely off to me. So, I kind of got frustrated with that mode and stopped playing it. 
Um, but now that they've updated it, and I've heard that it's better now, it's supposed to be better. Um, yeah, let's see what it's all about, I guess. I just want to, uh... I might have to concentrate a bit, so I'm not going to talk through this whole thing. There might be lulls of silence. Um... Or the mezcal may just be making me very happy, and I may end up talking more. <gasps> I don't know. We'll see what happens. But that's a bit of indigestion from my from my early dinner. Sorry about that. I'll try to keep that under control. Um, so let's take all that water. I would really love to find a lantern early on. Because these interiors are dark, even in the daytime. It's hard to fucking see. And I don't want to use matches, really. Oh, he's got to sleep soon. What time of day is it? Oh, it's almost night. Perfect. Okay, so he can sleep for a while, and, uh... Yeah. That should be good. I just want to make sure I don't forget anything. That was all taken. Nothing in here. Blah. De blah. De blah. I think it's time to finish this sh half a shot I have here. Hmm. Oof. Chaser. Ugh. Pellegrino. Because I don't want anything with fucking sugar in it. God forbid corn syrup. Hells no. I just need that good carbonation. To help me with my stomach, because... I don't know. Either I'm going to kill the virus or I'm just going to get it really drunk. And then I'll come back tomorrow. I don't know. I hope not. I hope not. We'll see what happens. But in any event, if I keep this up long enough, I may just get drunker and drunker as I play this. And, uh... Stupid wolf! <laughs> yeah, hopefully, if it does come to that, it'll be entertaining. That's the best... That's the best either one of us can hope for, uh, is that it's entertaining <laughs> and not just embarrassing. I don't mind if it's embarrassing. I just hope it's entertaining. All right. So, <clears throat> let's do that. Take a sip of our next shot. Mm. There's loading screens going into this now. Wood Moshes. leather. How's about a lantern? A lantern would be perfect right now with some fuel in it. Because I don't think I even have any fuel up. Oh, I'd lay down right here if I Just ask and you shall there. receive. I mean, not the lantern, but the fuel at least anyway. What do I have for light right now? Not enough matches. I'm not even going to use any of those right now. Let's just look at our inventory for a second. Uh, fire stuff, okay. Oh, wait, I do have plenty of matches. Oh, these aren't all in the wheel. Are these all wood matches? Yeah. Um, well, let's equip the rest. Oh, what did I just do? Oh, I dropped it by mistake. Wait, that was my mistake. Hold on. I didn't mean to drop that. Where is it? Where is it? I just dropped it. Didn't I just drop it? Dude. Oh my god, that freaked me out. I have to use little matches in here. I have to. I don't want to really waste them, but I'll probably find a lot more anyway. I'm guessing I'll find a lot more. I don't want to miss anything. I might even go in that other, that first place at some point again and check it. What do I need? Everything. Is that cooked? Yeah. Let's eat that. Well, uh, the food does not feed you that much anymore, does it? It seemed like the energy bar gave me more than the... Unless that food... Unless I only had a bite left of that food or something. I don't know. That, that's possible. 
So that's 62, 62 percent. Might as well finish this one too. Alright, that's a good top off for now, I would say. You know, speaking about the sickness, it's weird because I've been playing Fallout 4 again recently. You know, all, all this uh, controversy over 76 made me want to play 4 again. Uh, God knows I won't buy 76 anytime soon. Maybe in the future if it, like, goes down to a reasonable price, I'll buy it. But, um, you know how you play on survival mode in Fallout 4? You can get parasites, and you can get something that... Lethargy, I think it's called. You need to you need to sleep more or something. That's kind of what I felt like I have both of. Like, oh, I don't have a pry bar. It's kind of what I feel like because I've been sleeping. I might have mentioned this in the last video, but um, the last two nights I slept. I went to sleep real early, like around eight o'clock, and uh, I slept like ten hours each night. And um, I never do that. I never sleep more than, you know, what, seven, eight hours at the most. Sometimes I only sleep six hours, and I'm fine with it. But I feel like I've got that, that some of those Fallout 4 survival mode um, fucking uh, sicknesses that you get. I don't know what the point of opening hoods in this game is. Or opening up the um, visors. I open up visors in this game religiously. And I have yet to find a single scrap of paper in any of them. That's mean, developers. That's mean. Oh, wait. What is that? Oh, that's sleep. I need to sleep. All right, I'm going to go do that right now. Let me just search this car. Put away these matches. Like a jackass holding them for no reason. See, look at that. Nothing. Nothing under Mr. Visors. Nothing in the back seat. I might have to search some of this shit again anyway, just to be safe uh, in the daytime or when I have a lantern. I don't want to, I don't like to use matches if I can help it. Let me see which house should I go into to sleep. One of these need a key, I think. The manager's home. Unless they change that, I'm not sure. Uh, let me see if this one has a bed. This one might not have a bed. I gotta sleep like right now. Nope, this one definitely does not have a bed. Does it have a lantern though? Alright, I'm gonna have to go back to that first house. I think that had the that was actually a ha that was actually a home. Had a bed. Where was it? Where am I? I lost my sense of direction for a second. Oh, it's this way. I think. No wait, where is it? Oh, it's this way. Let's go sleep because this guy's about to pass out. Uh, 
Uh, which one was the home? I can't remember now. Was it this one? Might have been this one, maybe. The Mariner's Peacoat. It's his coat of choice when he has to go pee off the side of the ship because, you know, he's a mariner. Wait, didn't this thing have a fucking bed or am I insane? Oh, it's downstairs, I think. Please tell me this has a fucking bed in it. Oh my god, I'm about to flip the fuck out right now. This has no bed in it, really? Oh, fuck you, man. Fuck you. Now I gotta go walk around the fucking dark streets looking for a fucking house with a fucking bed in it. Ugh. Why does this always happen to me? Why does this always fucking happen to me? Can you use one of her beds? Um, I don't know if you can. I could try. Oh, this is going to be a big waste of time, isn't it? Let's see. See if they let you use one of her beds. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Let's just sleep the maximum amount of time so I can fucking heal up. I don't need more info for that. Mouth so dry. Really? Oh, is that a teaching book? Oh, they put teaching books in the story mode. Oh, that is a huge plus, man. That's a huge plus. I think you're wondering about maintaining your clothing sewing primer. I didn't... I don't think even survival mode had sewing primers, though, did it? Maybe the very last version did? I don't think they all did, though. Can I take her toilet water? Give me that toilet water. It's my toilet water. I am the hero, after all. Can you take any of this stuff? I know the, the mountain... Tr the, the mountain... The, uh, ma the climbing rope is in there. If they kept that the same, but you gotta unlock that first. You gotta unlock it um, in the story, yeah. Oh, but there's skill books in the story mode. I was really hoping they were gonna add skill books to the story mode, because I would really like to see it more open world than linear, and that you could do shit like that and take your time. You know, you don't have to like rush or whatever. Because I don't, I don't really like linear quests that are, like, kind of rushed. Ooh, is this mine? It doesn't say it's stealing. You can use the stove, that's, of course, yeah. Wait, is this, like, stealing food from her, though, if I take this? I'll be hungry later. Maybe she left that out for me. <laughs> Let's see what old Mama Murphy, I mean, uh, the Grey Mother, has to say. Nothing. Look at that. She is surrounded by no dialogue. No halo of dialogue. I, I wiped out all the dialogue. Just like I'm going to wipe out this virus. Speaking of which, salud. Oof. Oof, I need some more 
Need some more chaser. Okay, so, uh, let's see, hmm. everything good except for food, why don't I do that now, should have done that inside, I seem to be alright on warmth though, not too bad, I know I'm not ideal or fully clothed, but good enough for now, ooh, that bitch is coming after me, isn't he? Sounds far away, though. Oh, there he is. Oh, you know why? He was going after a rabbit or something. So that wasn't me. Okay, that's good. That's that's interesting, because... Uh, I don't think you really saw them take down other animals unless it was like a scripted event. Unless it was like a specifically scripted thing. Should I try to scare him off for, for the, the, the carcass? I sure as hell can't fight him without a s rifle yet. But I could... You know what? Fuck it. I'm not going to. I should find enough... <clears throat> non-perishable food. Or non-perishable-ish, I should say. Uh, that I don't have to hunt right now. For at least a few days. I gotta find a crowbar. That one, I didn't need one for, thankfully. Oh, man. Um, what is this note? Betrayal. I left him like I promised I would, and I waited here while you asked, Where are you? It's getting too cold to sit here. Pick me up the old P.O. when you can. And let's get out of here if you don't pick me up by midnight. I'm out of here on my own. I whew, think I ooh, I think I remember that from a previous version. But um, they really gotta start making a use for those things. I mean, I would love to find just one stick of gum, even just one time. Anything. They don't have gum in this game, but uh, you know what I'm saying. Just a can uh, energy bar, then. Uh, I think the key is in here for the manager's house, if they kept that the same. So let's just check this right now. Oh, there's a note out there. I forgot to get the note. I don't know if I need it right away. Let me just go grab that real quick. Pry bars are essential for forcing open locked doors and vehicles. So what you're saying is that they're essential for prying. Milton Credit Union letter. Personal service service with a further notice. What about our money? Huh? What about our money? We want our money back, boy. Damn! Look at that. Look at that shaft of light. It's almost like frozen. It's almost like I'm on an alien planet with like some kind of like frozen gas in the in the light shaft. That's weird. I can always use more food. <gasps> Uh, truer words have never been spoken, and speak of the devil, there's the bank the manager. The bank manager's house. Yeah, I took the words right out of my mouth. Does this thing play solitaire? Ha 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 ha. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Oh, shush. You shush your energy bar hole, mister. I used to... Oh no, I'm not breaking that down. I used to make fun of him for complaining about the weight all the time. 
It was fun. Sounds like such a crybaby when he's complaining about the way. I can't carry anymore. Yeah. I don't think I can carry much more of this food that's going to sustain my life and feed me and keep me alive. And these supplies. <clears throat> Something to that effect, anyway, is what I would say. Um, let me just check that clothing. Did I get pick up new clothing? Oh, I got right. Yeah, I got another one of those. I got socks. That one is O three. That one is O three. These are in better condition, right? Oh no, I mean these are in better. Oh eight and oh three, okay. And then oh eight versus oh five. Got it. That'll come in handy. Oh yeah, I should check his inventory, right? What does he need though? He needs food. Let him eat something. Locked. I need to get Can't that get in here yet. Yeah, I need to get that from the manager's house. I'm pretty sure they kept that the same too. Um Sweet dreams are made of these. Who has a mind yeah, to disagree? Travel the world and the civil seas. Everybody's looking for something. Some of them want to confuse you. Some of them want to get used by you. Some of them want to abuse you. Some of them want to be abused. The Eurythmics. The best version ever, and the only good version of that song. You know, nothing against M.M., but um, I tend to not really like his covers that much. His original stuff is good, though, sometimes. But, um, yeah, I don't really like his covers that much. I think the... <clears throat> I think the, the the cover he did for the what have we here? I think he did the cover for the uh, new Quentin Tarantino movie uh, for Helter Skelter, the Beatles song for the Charles Manson movie, and I'm pretty sure that it sounds like shit. I only heard it briefly, and I already pretty much wanted to vomit when I heard it. It was just pretty fucking bad. I mean. I can see them wanting to have a new version of the song for the movie, but um, it's almost like they didn't even try. Like, they just didn't even try. They just threw something together half awake one morning or one late afternoon after they woke up, and uh, that's what you end up hearing, you know? So, go figure. Um, I'll be back here. I guess I'll double check some of this stuff. Make sure I didn't miss anything. I like to be thorough. If playing Fallout games has taught me anything. It's to be very thorough when you're searching for loot. Because you never know what nook and cranny. <clears throat> you never know what out of the way anal cavity um, the developer is going to stick that 
next tasty item that you're going to want to grab, right? I can't believe I just put those two thoughts together, but yeah, there you have it. What a nice image. Pulling something tasty out of an animal cabinet. <laughs> oh, God. If I'm not sick already, I'm going to make myself sick. Some of them want to abuse you. Some of them want to be abused. Wow, wow, wow. I forget how that part goes. Something like that. Something along those lines. Alright, let's go to the manager's house. And sip our next mezcal shot. Take a nice little sip because I can't do the whole thing. The first three or four I just downed right away just to get the process started, but now now I can only sip it. And that, um, that Pellegrino chaser is really helping a lot. I'll have to search that house later. Let me, uh, Go in here and start a start a stash. Start a start a stash. It's almost like a like a tongue twister. The beginning of a tongue twister. Could end up being useful. Start a stash. Stowing. I don't know. I have to think about it to come up with more. <clears throat> I'm not going to do that right now because I need to focus on this game. And that's just not important right now. Food or... Oh, I got a can opener. Alright, man. Sweet. Definitely was hoping to get one of those. Got some more sweet dreams. Herbal tea. Courtesy of the Eurythmics. I could eat this now. It's only 66%. I won't get sick eating that. <sighs> so. Uh. Still feeling a tiny bit queasy from the stomach virus thing, but I'm also getting a bit of a burning sensation in my midsection right now. I'm guessing that's from the mezcal working its way through my body. It's already hit my brain by now a little bit. This could be really useful. It's just starting to hit my brain right now. Um, and I just hope it's wreaking havoc on whatever unwelcome objects maybe in my stomach right now. It's the air starting to slow me down. Hey, you keep up that complaining, buddy. See if you have a place to sleep tonight. This guy complaining. About the way. Complaining about carrying all this food and supplies that's going to keep him alive. Mr. Complainer. Wow, what's your, what's your name? Uh, last name Complainer? First name always? So, just getting back to uh, <clears throat> commenting on the changes. I do like the new icons, I think. Stuff will come in handy. The more recent cooking system, I almost want to say it's a little bit overthought. I don't necessarily dislike it, but I'm not sure I like like it. 
Um, I mean, I, I, I could see how it's a little bit more involved, a little bit more immersive, but it also feels a little bit more like, a little bit more like micromanaging, you know what I'm saying? And, um, <clears throat> let's just put it this way, every time your character feels a scratch in the game, you as the player should not have to hit a button to address that. Now, that's a pretty extreme example compared to, like, cooking in a survival game. I realize that. Um, I realize it's an extreme example, but it, um, it, it is just a, p and it's sort of a point, you know, it's just sort of where I'm coming from on a much, on a much, uh, you know, grander scale, I guess. Do I want to really micromanage the cooking process that much? That's really what the question is. And the answer is, I don't think I really want to. I think if something's about to burn, I should at least get a warning. The game should pause or something, and I should get a warning and saying, this is about to burn. Because, like, in real life, would you really let that happen if you were sitting right there cooking another piece of meat or, or boiling water? You know what I'm saying? Like, it just doesn't seem realistic enough to bother. And, um, you know, I don't want to have to maybe go to that much trouble to make sure that everything's perfect. But... I don't know. I, I do like this game in general. I love the survival mode. And, uh... You know... I'll give it the benefit of the doubt for now. Um, but for now, I'm gonna wanna start storing stuff. I'm gonna wanna start making a little base here for now. I don't know if I'll have to move eventually completely once the story progresses far enough. But, yeah, for now. We're going to make this our little home away from home. So, um, alright, let's see how much of this I want to put away at least two. Yeah, at least that much. That shit's heavy. That shit's heavy as hell. And then, um,. Oh, I gotta sort this. Hold on. I gotta sort this by condition. I always sort by condition. Because you want to eat the food that's going to go bad first before it goes completely bad. Or potentially makes you sick. Now, I don't think canned soda can ever make you sick, but this, for example, will definitely make you sick if it's in the yellow or lower. I don't know if there's a lower one. There might be a red zone, too. But, um, I think I've eaten, like, 30%, maybe, 25%, maybe 20% and gotten sick. So, yeah, you have to watch out for that coffee. You want to keep that on you in case you are caught without a bed somewhere and you're getting tired. Definitely want to keep that. That's extra, that's extra sweet dreams, so I'll put those away. I'm probably not going to stop to cook uh cook this right now, so let's just put these away. Um, same thing with the coffee, I guess. That, 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 that. That, that. Guess I'll hold on to this, maybe, for now. I'll put that away, too. Alright, that, uh, that takes care of the food, so... Now what we want to do is check our inventory, make sure we're still over encumbered, okay. Is there a first aid kit in here? No, there's not. Oh, it's okay. I'll use this then as my first aid. No, wait, actually, on second thought, let's use this as my first aid. tablets away. These are virtually useless. I'd be hard-pressed to find myself in a situation where I actually needed to use that as a life-or-death measurement. So, yeah. Let's just store that. Store all the extras and whatever I'm not gonna, definitely not going to need. Clothing, let's put away because I don't have time. I don't want to uh, spend time breaking it down right now. Normally I break this shit down. Well, when I have time, I'll break it down. Well, let's put everything else away. 
Oh wait, hold on. Before I do that, let me just make sure I have all the warmest clothing clothing equipped. Very important. That one is one nine. That one's one seven. This one, this one is warmer. So let's take that. Two seven three five. Let's go with this. Obviously, that's much warmer. Zero three versus zero six zero eight zero eight. 07 is the warmest one there. Sorry to talk through all of this. I'm just also trying to illustrate my thought process as I'm going through this, but um, I'm not going to talk about that anymore. I'll just, you guys, you, you get the idea. Just looking for the warmest versions of everything. I probably didn't even need to explain it. But yet I did. And there you have it. That's it. Clothing fully optimized. Oh, I forgot I have the, the um, yeah, I totally forgot I had this shit here. Let's drop this right now. That's a lot of rose hip. Um, do I have any bandages on me? No, I don't. So what I'm probably going to want to do is craft some dressings. Oh no, that's antibiotic though, actually, isn't it? Oh, you need to make you need to make bandages from clothing from cloth. Let's do that now. I get attacked out there. Gotta be prepared. getting tired already, so this might be another early night for me. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to sleep really early and waking up early. I mean, I kind of know what it is. I just don't know exactly what it is. <clears throat> so, um, alright, what else do I got to put away? I got to put away more stuff here. Uh, I'm still way too long. Uh, over encumbered. Yeah, let's put all this away. Because I'm not going to be needing to start any fires while I'm scavenging, right? So, just keep some extra matches on me, I guess, right? Um, so. Good. I'll put this away too. Um, what do I need? Food and water. Let's do both right now. Stale chocolate bar. I don't know why they don't automatically fill up the bar. The, the hotkey bar, shouldn't it just automatically get filled with whatever you have? Here's how you do it, folks. <laughs> Developers. Start with the, with, with, uh, the item that is going bad first. The, 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 the lowest condition and then go up from there and just automatically assign it. And if they're both exactly the same condition, you go by alphabetical. <laughs> I 
I don't know, man. I'm not a game developer. I just know how I like shit to work, and... This works for the most part for me, but I definitely have some small criticisms. That being one of them. So, what was I gonna do? I can't even remember. Okay, so what? Yeah, this is not even on the fucking... Hold on, I can't... I can't focus on this thing right now. Alright, so, yeah, you have to add it to the radio. I don't know why. It's kind of stupid, but alright. I still need more food. Let me get more. Um, this. Let's eat this thing. See that one automatically appeared. Why couldn't the? Oh, because the drinks. Oh, the drinks. Um, oh, because the drink counts only as as. Uh, well, te technically, it's classified as as um, as uh, a drink. But, but, the reason why I thought it should appear on the food bar is because it does replenish a little bit of your hunger. So there, that's the only reason why I thought that. Let's test this out, actually. Let's see if these will all appear. One, two. Two more items that are definitely food items. No, only, only one of them appeared. Let me double check that. No, they both appeared. Alright, so maybe I'm wrong. I take that back. I take that back. I'm a little... I'm a little loopy today with this sickness thing. But, um, I need to eat more anyway. Let me... Eat that. Maybe that. See, because this will give me a little bit of hunger, too. Actually, a decent amount. That, gave me, that gives you a decent amount of hunger back, too. Uh, so where are we at? About 50-minute mark here. Alright. Maybe another few more minutes, and then I'll stop the video. So far, I'm just getting a bit, I don't know, not really like drunk or anything, just more like a bit loopy. But that's probably just mostly from a combination of that and the sickness. Uh, Alright, um, daytime. A little bit of light left, a couple more hours. A few more hours of light. You can save anytime you want, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna go over. This is before I died. The fr I died once so far in part one, I think. At the end of part one, I died. But I, I haven't died since, so that's why I named this story B. I'll just go off of story B. Alright, because uh, I'm not going back and reloading any of that older shit. That's for damn sure. Um, so good on my stats. Yeah. You know what I do want to do is check my journal. Find supplies. Alright, so they separated this into two different quests, but now they're combining it into one quest. Okay, so now it's both food and the fire in one quest. Okay. That's cool. I'm fine with that. I got no problems with that. Look, it's the Mariner's Pea Coat again. It's, it's, his, it's the Mariner's preferred coat for peeing in. You're not a professional Mariner, and you go to pee, and you don't have a Mariner's pee coat. And you're just, you're just, you're just not a professional, you know, Mariner at that point. You have to only the hacks avoid avoid the pee coat. All right, I'm a little bit loopy. Hey, can I get a energy bar? No. No. They definitely need to do something with those visors, man. Also, I don't know why I came back in here, because I want to double just double check. Yeah. Also, they need to occasionally put something in one of these 
hoods because like why even bother being able to open them if you can if there's nothing ever there you can use, you know? I gotta find a crowbar. That one doesn't need one, but some of them do. I already missed one or two, I think. There's a lot more supplies that way, but I guess I'm gonna finish uh, scavenging in this area here. Uh, one other thing I didn't like about the side quests in the previous version was, um, I probably don't need any more rose hip. Was that the containers that you have to find only magically appear after you've read the note or triggered the qu the side quest? So that's, again, that's, that's a balancing decision I think they went with, but I don't, I don't, it's not one I agree with. There's some bunny rabbits over there. Alright, I'm not going to harvest any more um, rose hip, but I might just do a bunch of these guys as emergency food and tinder, even though those things don't fill you up very much. Maybe I'll just give uh, Mama Murphy, I mean the Grey Mother, um, all my cattail reeds. She she's thin. She doesn't eat a lot of pasta or heavy food, you know. She eats light. She eats like a bird, so she'll be fine with that. I'll handle all the uh, Chef Boyardee <coughs> consumables in this game. I am, after all, the hero of the game, so the hero needs to eat. If I try to catch a couple more rabbits, maybe I should. Yeah, I definitely should. Especially since they fixed the aiming after they broke it. First it was fine, then they broke it on purpose, I think. And then they and then they and they fixed it finally. that was a horrible throw on my part. It's best when you get them walking towards you. And you can see them, unlike right there. Oh, of course I missed. Urgh. Stupid bunny rabbit. <laughs> bunny rabbit. Is it five o'clock? I think I'm gonna go to sleep in like an hour or two, probably, if I can stay awake that long. But I am gonna have to end this video here soon because I don't know if I really want to record more than an hour at a time. I guess I'll just check this last hut here, cabin, I should say. Uh, let's see what we've got in here. If anything good, hopefully a lantern. Lantern would be really nice. Mm. Oof, the rest of whatever number shot that was. Ugh. Looking at my bottle here. 
how much of that did I drink? That looks like a tenth of the bottle, maybe? A twelfth of it? Somewhere around there. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I'll be able to stop yawning. <clears throat> I'm going to try, though. Cave, hidden cache. Okay, so this is one of the... Uh, side quest, and my point before was that I don't think that cache appears. Unless they change it in this version, but in the previous version, that note was not there. I mean, that cache was not there unless you saw this note, read the text, and took and took it, I think. Um, yeah. Which sucks, because if you... Here. Which sucks, because if you happen to try to, you know open world, you know, oh, let me just wander whichever way I want to go, and you go that way, and you didn't open up the quest yet, it's not going to be there, and you're going to have to go back just for that one thing. Which, you know... So keep the lamp burning. In my, in my mind, it's not cost-effective to do that, not in a game like this. Especially not if this quest is as... this story mode is as linear still as I think it, it, it's going to be. Because it was pretty linear before. You couldn't really... I mean, you could open a world a little bit in this, uh, in this town. You could even, like, live here a little bit and survive for, like, a week, probably. But, yeah, eventually you'd have to, like, move on, and, uh, I don't know. I think I just forgot the gist of what I was trying to say there. Uh, but whatever I was just trying to say, um, hopefully um, the point was made. If not, then I guess I'm just looking like a jackass right now. <clears throat> As I pour shot number 25, or it's not 25, it's probably more like 10. Uh, but again, on a full stomach, and I'm chasing with like a lot of... Uh, Sparkling mineral water. A lot. Ugh. Like all of that was just mineral water. Oof. That's good. That mineral water is so tasty. I love Pellegrino. It's better than Perrier, in my opinion. I think it's considered better, though, in general. I don't know. I've never really read anything about either one of them. I just know which one I like better. Look, there's a wolf over there. Is he going to attack that deer? Oh, yeah, he is. Just as I said it, he's going towards it. That's what I love. I love that little, um... And he's running away from the wolf. I love that little, um... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? That little microcosm, that little, uh you know, faction wars going on between um, NPC animals in the game that don't necessarily have to involve you as the player. I love that. I totally love that. You know, in, um, in Far Cry Primal, for example, you see that all the time, but it's like happens so much it's just like overkill. In this game, if it happens like once in a while and you see it, it's much cooler because it's like a rarer event. <laughs> but um, in, in Far Cry Primal, it's like, um, I mean, it's like the Times Square of like that age in history. There's all kinds of shit running around. It's just crowded, is what I mean, is what I'm trying to say. It's like crowded, like, like Times Square, except it's the, you know... Whatever, whatever time period that is. I don't know why I'm picking up more stones. I really don't need more. I have 11 already. Oh, that was a good throw. I don't think I could throw it that high in real life. Not that I'm a slouch, but, you know, hey. No fucking Olympic shot putter either. <clears throat> Um, okay, so that's one that needs the... Did I check this shit yet? I can't remember. That is one good use you can make out of using the, um... 
Oh, there's another hidden cache note here. Hey, girl, that grumpy jerk at Orca left the back door open, so I snuck in and took some stuff. I thought we might need it for when we get out of here. I can't wait to get over to the mainland with you where we can finally be together for real, man. I, I'll meet you there tomorrow night like we planned. I stashed the stuff near that big fallen tree in the marsh behind St. Christopher's, you know, where we met that one time and drank your dad's contraband. Ah, uh, Isn't that special? <clears throat> I like it better this way, I think, because... In the previous, I guess that's really a, it's really not that important, but it, it's really not a big point at all. But uh, what would have been better is to have the option to go either way, either to come from the church or to come down the way that they make you come down in this version of the winter mute. I don't know. Just to make it a little bit more non-linear, you know? They should have two they should have two ways to get into mill, and that's what I'm trying to say. Like you have an option and you know, they're both short. It's not like you're gonna waste a really a long time going one way or the other, you know, just a reasonable Physical amount of time. And that distance I think is pretty reasonable. I wonder how far back it goes, because I can remember I can remember where it starts too. Like in that cave area, and then they give you that wolf situation that's feasting on the deer carcass, and they tell you that, oh, you can scare it away with a, you know, or sometimes you can scare it away with a torch. I should say sometimes. I don't think it works every single time. I don't know why I keep holding this stone up. Probably because I just don't care at this point. See, that's hard to see, man, without, like, good light. Can there be a lantern in here, please? I would really... Like it. Uh, it could, uh, put a lantern in here for me. But I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't want to come back in here again. Let's just make sure I don't miss anything. Once is plenty. For a professional fallout looter such as myself. I practically reinvented the phrase, leave no stone unturned. At least in those games anyway. All right, we've got a deposit key. Nice. Did I ever get the um, bank vault code? I can't remember now. I thought it was in the manager's house, but I forgot to uh, check if, I f if it was there. Be conscious of the fact of whether or not I found it or not, because I'm like so loopy right now. I can't even think straight. My mind's just a jumble. It's a bit mushy. My head's just a bit mushy. Delete this. A defunct fridge. Um, okay. Let's just, uh, Sweep the perimeter one more time, as it were. Make sure we haven't left any interesting items on the ground. Already got that. Already got everything here. Take a break. <laughs>
at this point and consider whether or not I'm going to do any more right now because as much as I would like to uh, make this more entertaining by potentially getting a bit more wrecked and saying some hopefully funny and entertaining things um, you know I, I just have to sort of take a break and check my head for a second here maybe drink some more water and then come back to the good old mezcal um, and see what happens from there but um, so far I really have no more of an opinion on this game other than maybe what I said I don't remember everything that I said but uh, so far overall I'm gonna say I think it's a bit better I don't like the dialogue system. I know I, from part two, I don't really like the dialogue system that that much. Um, but uh, you know, I think I'm willing to put up with it if uh, the overall quests are better, are done, are handled better. I don't know. I don't know. But thanks for thanks for hanging in, and uh, hopefully see you in uh, part three, part four.